outrageous, horrific, barbaric. There are not enough adjectives strong enough to describe the reaction to the latest carnage in Ukraine, where 10 ordinary citizens standing in a bread line were reportedly killed when Russian soldiers opened fire. The massacre happened just hours before Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky gave a stirring address to a joint session of Congress. It's a breadline massacre. Ten civilians in the northern city of Chernihiv were reportedly gunned down as they stood in line for bread. Disturbing video shows the aftermath of the incident that is evoking the dark days of the Nazi era. A U.S. Embassy official said, such horrific attacks must stop. We are considering all available options to ensure accountability for any atrocity in Ukraine. There are reports that a theater in Mariupol where a thousand people had taken shelter has been destroyed by Russian missiles. This is how that theater looked just a week ago, packed with families living in squalid conditions in dimly lit rooms. Many of the children were said to have fevers. The residents had written the Russian word for children outside the building to prevent just such a tragedy. It's not known how many have been killed in this latest outrage. Russian shells fell outside a hospital in Mariupol as wounded patients were being brought in. Conditions inside are nightmarish, with badly injured Ukrainians being treated in narrow, crowded corridors. Missiles rained down in the embattled capital city of Kyiv today. This apartment building was hit by a missile. Many Ukrainians, like this woman, are surviving in the ruins of their apartments, and thousands of others are living underground in the subway system. It's the deepest in Europe, 300 feet, built during the Soviet era to withstand a nuclear blast. This popular singer did what he could to entertain his fellow citizens deep below ground. There's shocking new evidence that the Russians are using human shields. These tanks and armored vehicles are positioned between houses, even in driveways in a residential neighborhood 15 miles from Kyiv. One tank takes aim at a lone civilian walking on a devastated street and opens fire. Today, the U.S. Congress met in a joint session in the rarely seen auditorium under the Capitol building and gave President Zelensky a standing ovation. The networks all broke into regular programming to carry the dramatic speech live. The Ukrainian people are defending not only Ukraine, we are fighting for the values of Europe and the world. He played a video with heart-wrenching images of the war that has made Russia an outcast nation. And a Fox News correspondent choked up as she paid tribute to the two Fox journalists killed covering the war. Correspondent Benjamin Hall was seriously wounded. We will redouble our efforts to honor these colleagues and all reporters in harm's way tonight. Their deaths are a reminder that everything we're able to share about the situation in Ukraine is information gathered by brave journalists who are taking great personal risks.